Section. Introduction. In this section, we explore reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, and its significance in aligning foundation models with human values and preferences. RLHF has played a crucial role in enhancing large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini to generate more useful and ethical responses. The traditional RLHF process involves two main steps. First, training the model to understand human feedback and preferences, typically using maximum likelihood estimation, MLE. Second, using a deep RL algorithm called proximal policy optimization, PPO, to optimize the learned reward. However, PPO training can be unstable and inefficient compared to supervised learning, leading to inconsistent performance and challenges in achieving the best results. Despite attempts to improve PPO or propose alternative methods, such as rejection sampling, fine-tuning, and direct preference learning algorithms, there is still a need to enhance PPO's performance in RLHF applications. One reason for PPO's suboptimal performance could be the mismatch between how RLHF is formulated as a bandit problem, treating entire responses as actions with sentence-level rewards, and PPO's design for multi-step problems with token-wise rewards. This mismatch can impact the effectiveness of PPO in RLHF tasks. To address these challenges, we introduce a new RLHF framework that focuses on token-wise rewards, providing a more detailed understanding of how LLMs generate responses. We develop reinforced token optimization, RTO, under the MDP formulation of RLHF, which extracts token-wise rewards from preference data and trains the model accordingly. By leveraging token-wise rewards derived from direct preference optimization, DPO, and optimizing with PPO, RTO surpasses existing methods in dialog tasks. Our approach offers a principled way to enhance RLHF by incorporating token-wise feedback signals and optimizing them effectively. Section Summary In this section, we introduce reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, as a technique crucial for aligning models with human values, particularly in large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT and Claude. The classical RLHF pipeline involves training a reward function from human feedback using maximum likelihood estimation, MLE, and then employing proximal policy optimization, PPO, for RL training. But PPO's instability and sample inefficiency pose challenges. To address this, we propose reinforced token optimization, RTO a novel RLHF framework that leverages token-wise reward signals derived from offline preference data using direct preference optimization, DPO, and optimizes them with PPO, outperforming existing methods in dialog tasks. Section. RLHF Algorithm. In this section, we discuss the RLHF algorithm. The classic RLHF framework was initially introduced in previous works and further developed in subsequent studies. These later works can be seen as early versions of Chat GPT and Claude. PPO is commonly used in these projects and has proven to be effective in building advanced language models. However, optimizing the PPO algorithm for peak performance requires significant time and resources that are often not readily available to the open source community. In response to this challenge, researchers have explored alternative approaches to enhance the PPO algorithm. One such approach is rejection sampling fine-tuning, which builds on the best of n inference concept. This method involves generating multiple responses for each prompt and using a learned reward function to rank and fine-tune the model based on high reward responses. Additionally, inspired by reward condition training in reinforcement learning literature, conditional SFT was developed to avoid explicit reward learning. Another approach, known as direct preference learning, aims to skip the reward modeling step. Among these methods, the direct preference optimization, DPO, algorithm stands out for its innovative idea that treats the language model itself as a reward model. The DPO-aligned algorithm often achieves competitive ranking accuracy compared to traditional reward functions. While these alternative algorithms have shown promising results, 
there is limited evidence that they can outperform PPO in creating state-of-the-art language models independently. Therefore, understanding PPO and enhancing its performance within the context of foundation model alignment remains a crucial area of research. Theoretical studies on RLHF trace back to concepts like dueling bandit and dueling reinforcement learning, where the focus is on maximizing rewards based on preference signals rather than absolute rewards. However, existing reward maximization frameworks tend to lead to deterministic optimal policies, which may not align with the principles of generative AI. Moreover, the commonly used learning target is a callback Liebler, KL, regularized function instead of the original reward function. To address these issues, researchers have formulated RLHF as a reverse KL-constrained contextual bandit problem and proposed sample-efficient algorithms for offline, online, and hybrid settings. Efforts to improve PPO within the RLHF context have been made by various researchers. Some have explored token-wise or stepwise information to enhance language model performance, focusing on reasoning abilities. Others have suggested that PPO may not be the best fit for RLHF due to its sentence-level reward and deterministic transitions, proposing alternative reinforcement-style algorithms. Techniques such as constructing separate reward functions for different goals or extending PPO to multi-objective optimization have been explored, but challenges remain in modeling rewards at a token level. Concurrent work in this area has also focused on token-wise MDP formulations for RLHF, aiming to optimize token-wise rewards efficiently. Our work introduces the RTO algorithm, leveraging token-wise reward functions to enhance PPO performance and providing a theoretical basis for the benefits of token-wise MDP and its sample-efficient learning approach. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the RLHF algorithm which builds upon the classic RLHF framework and explores alternative approaches to the PPO algorithm due to its resource-intensive nature. Researchers have proposed rejection sampling, fine-tuning, and direct preference learning approaches like DPO, aiming to enhance language model performance without solely relying on PPO. The theoretical study of RLHF involves formulating it as a reverse KL-constrained contextual bandit, exploring sample-efficient algorithms, and motivating practical algorithms like GSHF and NASH-MD. Our work focuses on improving PPO in the context of RLHF by leveraging token-wise reward functions, contrasting with other approaches that still operate at the sentence level. Section. Notation. In this section, we introduce the standard RLHF paradigm. We denote the set of distributions over a set Cx as delta, Cx. The indicator function is denoted by m, 1, c d o t. When we have a positive integer h, we represent the sequence, y underscore 1, y underscore 2, dots, y underscore h, as y underscore, 1, h. For any two distributions p and q in delta, Cx, we define the KL divergence as the sum over all elements in Cx of p, x, times the logarithm of the ratio of p, x, to q, x. In our practice, we assume that the preference signal follows the Bradley-Terry, bt, model. This model calculates the probability of one response being preferred over another given a prompt and the responses. The model uses a sigmoid function and a ground truth reward function R defined at the sentence level to determine this probability. The reward function evaluates the overall performance of the entire response. The classical RLHF pipeline typically involves two steps, reward training from human feedback and reward-based RL training. In the first step, we are given a dataset CD equals X, Y caret W, Y caret L where y caret w is the preferred response over y caret l. The reward function is learned through maximal likelihood estimation, MLE, on this dataset. In the second step, the learned reward is optimized while ensuring that the updated language model, LLM, remains close to a reference model pi underscore, ref. This is done by adding a KL regularized term to the optimization target. The KL regularized target helps balance reward optimization and staying close to the reference policy. 
It also ensures that the framework allows for a stochastic optimal policy. The policy optimization step is typically done using the proximal policy optimization, PPO, algorithm, which requires a reward signal at each step. Existing implementations of PPO assign the sentence level reward to the last token, but sparse rewards can make learning more challenging. This motivates us to provide a framework with more fine-grained token-wise characterization to enable the use of token-wise rewards in RLHF. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the standard RLHF paradigm where a prompt x from a distribution rho in delta, cx, and a response y equals y underscore 1, y underscore 2, y underscore h are generated by LLMs. The preference signal is often modeled using the Bradley Terry BT model, and the classical RLHF pipeline involves reward training from human feedback and reward based RL training. The optimization process includes a KL regularized term to balance reward optimization and staying close to a reference policy, ensuring a stochastic optimal policy and preventing reward hacking. Section Formulation for RLHF from Bandit to MDP. In this section, we present our Markov decision process, MDP, formulation for reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. We explain how RLHF can be represented using token-wise MDPs within large language models, LLMs. We also outline the learning objective within this framework. Additionally, we highlight the benefits of the token-wise MDP formulation over the sentence-wise bandit formulation. We define the RLHF problem as an MDP denoted by a tuple CM equals CS, CA, CP, R, Rho, H. Here, CS represents the state space, CA is the action space, CP is the transition kernel, R is the reward function, Rho is the initial state distribution, and H is the maximum number of interaction steps. A policy in MDPs maps states to action distributions. The interaction between the environment and the agent involves sampling the starting state, observing states, selecting actions based on a policy, and transitioning to the next state based on the transition kernel. This process continues until an ending condition is met within a specified number of steps. In the context of LLMs, each state includes the prompt and the tokens generated up to that point, while each action represents a token from the vocabulary. The transition kernel is deterministic meaning that given certain tokens, the environment transitions to the next state accordingly. The policy captures the autoregressive nature of LLMs, where the probability of generating a token depends on the previously generated tokens. The reward function is defined on a token level, and the generation process is limited by a maximum number of tokens. We introduce a preference signal using a BT model and token-wise reward functions. The preference between two trajectories is determined based on the accumulated rewards along the trajectory. Our MDP formulation captures the autoregressive nature of LLMs, unlike other formulations that do not. The reward function at the token level differs significantly from the sentence level reward in other formulations. Our learning objective in RLHF aims to maximize the reward function while ensuring that the learned policy aligns closely with a reference model. We define a regularized value function for policies and relate it to the regularized Q function. The optimal policy maximizes the regularized value function, and the suboptimality gap measures the difference between the optimal value function and the value function of the learned policy. To simplify notation, we define state visitation and state action visitation measures. Our goal is to find a near optimal policy with a small optimality gap. Section Summary. In this section, we introduce a Markov decision process, MDP, formulation for reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, characterizing RLHF using token-wise MDPs within large language models, LLMs. Our MDP model includes state space, action space, transition kernel, reward function, initial state distribution, and maximum interaction steps capturing the autoregressive nature of LLMs through token-wise policies and rewards. Unlike contextual dueling bandits, 
Our MDP approach offers advantages with token level rewards and a learning objective that balances maximizing rewards while staying close to a reference model. Section Advantages of Token Wise MDP over Sentence Wise Bandit. In this section, we will discuss the advantages of Token Wise Markov Decision Process MDP, over Sentence Wise Bandit. When we talk about token based and trajectory based rewards, we are essentially referring to sparse and dense reward settings. Sparse rewards make exploration more challenging. For example, let's consider a deterministic MDP with an action set size of A. We use an autoregressive policy, PI, to represent the policy of a powerful language model, LLM, like GPT-4. When we have a prompt X and responses Y caret 1 and Y squared, the evaluation given by PI is a combination of rewards for Y caret 1 and Y squared based on the prompt X. By comparing this with the bandit models in our MDP formulation, we can see that the sentence wise reward, R underscore S, and token wise reward, R underscore T, can be defined differently. Essentially, powerful LLMs tend to choose responses with higher rewards. It can also be shown that the sentence wise reward is the sum of token wise rewards for each token in the response. We also assume that there exists a response Y that satisfies a certain condition based on pi. In practice, this condition is usually much smaller than the length of the response because the language model tends to choose the best response rather than guessing randomly. The interaction protocol and sample complexity are defined based on the rewards received for responses in the MDP. The sample complexity refers to the number of responses and rewards needed to find the optimal response of a certain length. The proposition states that under certain conditions, the optimal policy can be found with a specific sample complexity. Moving on to reinforced token optimization, we approach reinforcement learning from the perspective of an MDP problem. We introduce the reinforced token optimization, RTO, algorithm which involves learning token-wise rewards from preference data and optimizing these rewards through RL training methods. We provide a theoretical version of RTO with guaranteed sample complexity and a practical implementation to align with real-world scenarios. In the theoretical version with sample complexity guarantee, we focus on the offline setting and assume access to a dataset containing trajectory pairs with different rewards. We assume a linear reward function and learn the reward function through maximum likelihood estimation. The RTO algorithm outputs the optimal policy based on the learned rewards. The theorem provides insights into how well the offline dataset covers the trajectories generated by the optimal policy and the importance of learning a regularized value. Our algorithm relies on the known transition kernel to compute the exact optimal policy. We discuss extending our findings to stochastic regularized MDPs and provide insights on the practical implementation of our algorithm. Previous works have studied RL under the MDP framework, but they do not emphasize the KL constraint or the practical implementation of the algorithms. Our approach aims to bridge this gap and demonstrate the practicality of our algorithm. Section Summary Token-wise MDP offers advantages over sentence-wise bandit by distinguishing between sparse and dense reward settings, making exploration easier in the former. By comparing sentence-wise and token-wise rewards in a deterministic MDP scenario, it is observed that powerful language models tend to choose responses with higher rewards. The sample complexity between these reward signals highlights the superiority of token-wise MDP over sentence-wise bandit formulation leading to the development of reinforced token optimization RTO algorithm for RLHF problems section practical implementation in this section we focus on creating a practical version of RTO the main challenge we face is figuring out how to learn the token wise reward from the offline data and algorithm many existing frameworks like instruct gpt Claude, and LAMA2 projects have tried replacing the last layer of the LLM with a linear layer to get a single output and then maximizing the log likelihood. However, this method only gives a reward at the sentence level. To address this gap, we introduce our practical version of RTO in algorithm, which includes a new way of calculating the token-wise reward. 
Our main idea is that when we have a trajectory tau equals s underscore h, a underscore h, underscore h equals 1, caret h, we can express the optimal policy as a function of q underscore beta caret asterisk s a and v underscore beta caret asterisk s. By looking at the trajectory pair tau caret j equals s underscore h caret j a underscore h caret j underscore h equals 1 caret h underscore j equals 1 squared where s underscore 1 to the power of 1 equals s underscore 1 to the power of 2 we can compare the rewards obtained along these trajectories. We notice that the learning objective in a token-wise MDP is similar to a BT model with a token-wise reward function. This reward function depends on the token chosen at each step and is different from the sparse reward used in previous PPO implementations. We define the token-wise reward function as beta underscore 1 log frac, pi underscore beta caret asterisk, y underscore h given x, y underscore 1 h1 equals r underscore rto x y underscore 1 h1 y underscore h where beta underscore 1 and beta underscore 2 are tuning parameters and pi is the current policy being updated we then use pi underscore dpo as an approximation for the unknown pi underscore beta caret asterisk and apply ppo to optimize the token wise reward r underscore rto Section Summary Practical Implementation In this section, we develop a practical version of Reinforcement Token Optimization RTO, by addressing the challenge of learning token-wise rewards in algorithm. By introducing a novel calculation method for token-wise rewards, we bridge the gap in existing literature and propose a new approach that aligns with the learning objective of Deterministic Policy Optimization DPO, but at the token level in a Markov Decision Process MDP, setting. This implementation involves assigning token-wise rewards at each step based on a defined function, optimizing them using proximal policy optimization (PPO) and utilizing DPO learned policies as a reference for the optimization process. Section: Experiments. In this section, we conducted real-world alignment experiments to confirm the effectiveness of RTO. We provided the details of our experimental setups and results in the respective sections. In our experimental setups, we focused on the single turn dialogue generation task using the Anthropic Helpful and Harmless HHRLHF dialogue dataset. This dataset contains dialogue history, user assistant interactions, and preferred responses annotated by humans. We used the PYTHIA 2.8b model as the base for our experiments and compared it with four baseline methods. To evaluate the performance of different methods, we used two metrics, Oracle Reward Evaluation and GPT-4 Evaluation. The Oracle Reward Evaluation involved comparing rewards given by a pre-trained model on Mistral 7b for prompt response pairs generated by different models. The GPT-4 evaluation relied on GPT-4's judgment of response quality for the same prompts from different models. The experimental results, detailed in a table, showed that our RTO method outperformed all baselines, especially the DPO model, in terms of win rates based on both Oracle Reward and GPT-4 evaluations. The RTO trained model achieved a win rate of over 50% against other methods and notably outperformed the DPPO algorithm with win rates of 61.1% and 56% in Oracle Reward and GPT-4 evaluations, respectively. This indicates that the token-wise reward mechanism in RTO significantly enhances the RL algorithm's performance during training. By comparing the reward trends during training, we observed that the RTO trained model consistently achieved higher rewards compared to the DPPO trained model. This demonstrates the effectiveness of the token-wise reward mechanism in improving the training process and overall model performance.